When Apple created their operating system, they focused on keeping it simple and fun to use. When you first launch OS X, a strip of colorful icons is the only thing on your desktop. This is known as the dock, and it gives you easy access to your favorite applications. When you mouse over any icon in the dock, the title of the application appears. You can see the first icon is for the finder, then there's the dashboard, and so on. Clicking any icon in the dock launches the application. A tiny blue light shows up beneath the icon when a program is open. Depending on which version of Mac OS X you're using, the dock comes with various program icons. In this case, I have the Finder, then the Dashboard, which features useful widgets like real-time stock quotes and weather forecasts, the Safari web browser, Mail, iChat, Address Book, iTunes, which we all know and love, iPhoto, iMovie, iCal, the QuickTime player for audio and video systems, GarageBand, iWeb where you can create personal websites, and iDVD. Over on the right, there's a dashed line that separates the applications from the recent files and folders. The trash can also lives here. Depending on your version of OS X, you might see a link to the Apple Mac OS X website or icons for two built-in stacks. A stack is a folder of commonly used items. Newer versions of OS X have one stack of folders and one stack for downloads. If you want to add another program or favorite item to the dock, just drag and drop the icon. For example, you can double-click the Mac hard drive icon on the desktop and select Applications. From the list, click and drag the ones you want down into the dock to create a shortcut. There it is. If you want to delete an application from the dock, click the icon with your mouse, drag it off the dock, and let it go. It disappears. Now, this doesn't actually delete the program, just the shortcut to the program. Finally, here are a couple of other neat tricks. If the dock takes up too much room on your desktop, make it smaller by clicking and holding down the mouse on the line that separates applications from recent files. When the mouse pointer turns into two arrows, drag down to shrink the dock. Make it bigger by dragging the arrows back up. Of course, a smaller dock means more space on the desktop, but smaller icons. Head up to the Apple menu and select Dock from the list. Choose the option to turn magnification on. Now when you hover your pointer over a dock icon, it's magnified and easy to see. The Apple menu also lets you move the dock to the left or right side of the screen. Now the dock's on the left and I have more room at the bottom of the screen. There's one more thing you can do if the dock is still in your way. Hide the dock altogether. Just go to the Apple menu, select the dock option, and choose Turn Hiding On. Now the dock disappears. It's still where you left it, but it only shows up if your mouse hovers over that area. And when you move your mouse away, it disappears again, so you have a nice roomy desktop screen. Apple created their operating system to be really user-friendly so you can be more efficient using a computer. Have fun and take time to explore everything the Mac computer has to offer.